Alright guys, today we're just going to do a quick video uh, going over my Mono Green Marwin the Nurturer Commander deck. So, just to start it off, we got 21 basic lands, got 4 non-basics, you got your Capital Souls to stop your elves from getting countered, your Wirewood Lodge to untap Marwin, uh, this, just in case, you never know, and of course Reliquary Tower for infinite hand size. Now we'll go through the elves. You got Priest of Titania, of course, Azuri. Uh, Frontier Guide. This is one I'm thinking about taking out. I don't use his ability that often because my lands don't really matter that much, so he's probably going to get taken out before too long. Uh, Curion Ranger to untap Marwin. Do this to uh, create an elf, sp an elf token whenever you cast an elf. That way it beefs up Marwin twice as much. Eladomri to keep your uh, elves from being targeted. Boreal Druid for mana, of course. Arbor Elf, Mana Dork, Elvish Piper to cheat out big creatures such as uh, Nyx Bloom or some of the other big creatures I'm going to show you guys here in a minute. Imperious Perfect to uh, you know give all those plus one. And of course, put a 1 1 into play, which triggers Marwin ability. Beast Whisperer to uh, draw cards. Wild Wanderer just to get some lands into play. Elvish Visionary, draw a card. Elvish Champion to give the Elves Forest Walk and plus one, which is always great. Ivy Lane Denizens to double the amount of counters you can put on Marwin. Put a whole lot of counters on Marwin. That's the main thing of this deck is trying to untap it and tap Marwin as much as possible to have as much mana as possible as quickly as possible. And Glissa to destroy those pesky artifacts. Ventornell just another mana dork. Oak Street Innkeeper to give your elves hex for ex, uh, elves and other creatures hex proof. Uh, this guy to stop things such as all his dust or annihilator, all that stuff. Mana dork, uh, mana dork, mana dork, and this is also good too to stop your uh, creatures from being countered. And mana dork slash plus one to all the elves. Yet uh, now we're gonna do this the uh, non elf creatures. So primordial sage to of course draw cards. Nyx bloom to triple that mana. Wirewood Symbiote to uh, untap Marwin and put another elf into play to trigger her again. Walking Blista, that's kind of a game winner card because of how much mana Marwin gener generates. Vigor is good too, he's honestly pretty cheap and super underused. Uh, he says if the damage will be dealt to a creature you control, prevent that damage and put a plus one plus one counter on it for each damage prevented that way, which is great. Apex Altasaur, kind of a mono green board wipe, that way you can uh, just destroy all your uh, opponent's creatures, all your mana dorks. This guy, Nullstorm Gargoyle, has been a super awesome help because he's a 4 5 of flying. Yeah, that's awesome. But this says right here whenever the first non creature spell each turn is played, counter that spell. That knocks down on counter spells, board wipes, all kinds of stuff. It really slows everyone else down. Scrib Ranger to again untap Marwin. Crater Hoof Behemoth to kind of uh, just win the game, basically. <laughs> Regal Force to draw a whole lot of cards. Oh, and we have 10 non-elf creatures. Now we're going to go down to artifacts. We have 9 artifacts. And this one to Mage Right Stone to untap Marwin again. Great Hinge to make uh, mana, gain 2 life, plus 1 counter, draw cards, all that good stuff. Umbral Mantle. This makes Marwin go infinite because as long as she taps for 3 mana and you can tap something else for 3, she'll go infinite because you'll attach this to her for 0. And then if she's tapped, you can pay three to untap her. That'll give Marwin, even if Marwin's just a one-one, that'll give her plus two, which makes her tap for three. Then boom, you untap her, or you tap her, and you untap her for that three. She gets another plus two, and you just tap, untap, and get all the mana, all the infinite power and toughness. Soul Ring, because it's a staple, you gotta have it basically. <laughs> Winter Orb, this is really good too. It's a oh no, look at me messing stuff up. Say Winter Orb, as long as uh, uh, untapped players can't untap more than one land during their untapped step, which is great. It really, really, really slows down other people, and once you get a good start in Marwin, you don't really need to worry about your lands at all. Nyx Lotus, just to get all that mana, and a Chrome's Memorial. This one's great too, because it's going to pair with Genesis Wave, which you'll see in my sorceries. Uh, creatures you control have flying, first strike, vigilance, trample, haste, protection from black, protection from red, and it's awesome. Oh, I forgot two artifacts, sorry. We got Coat of Arms and Staff of Domination. This is a game winner right here, too, because as long as Marwin uh, taps for at least six mana, you can play out your entire deck. 
Now rolling on to sorceries, we have 10 sorceries. Harvest season to get some lands into play if you're having issues with that. Sky Shroud Claim to get that ramp going. Genesis Wave, which is awesome in Marlin because you can generate a ton of mana. And then boom, you can put the next 30 permanents in your deck into play, which is great. Wildest Dreams to grab some stuff back to the graveyard. Natural Order, this is also a game winner right here. It can be if you choose to get out a Crater Hoof or Nyx Bloom or something like that. All you got to do is sacrifice any green creature and you get to get a green creature from your uh, uh, library and put it instantly onto the field, which is great. Harmonize to draw some cards. Shamanic Revelation to draw a lot of cards because you usually have a lot of creatures on the battlefield. Finale of Devastation also to win the game. Praetor's Council to return all that stuff that gets killed from your graveyard to your hand. And Tooth and Nail, also a game winner. Because you get to get, uh, for 9 mana, any two creatures in your library and put them instantly into play. And usually one of them's Crater Hoof Behemoth, and that most likely will win you the game on its own. Now we're going to go over to the instance. Rampage of Clans, to destroy all artifacts and enchantments. That's a really good thing to use. Worldly Tutor to get things like your Cavern of Souls out. Go Vitalize to untap all your stuff. Momentous Fall. This is good in case there's a board wipe and you can sacrifice a big creature. You can gain some life and draw a bunch of cards. Stony Strength. You put a plus one plus one counter on creature you control. Untap it. That's used for Marwyn. Avoid Fate. Counter target instant aura spell that targets permanent you control because Marwyn is instantly a target when she generates, you know, a hundred mana per turn. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry, worldly tutors for creatures. Uh, crop rotation. This is the one I was thinking of. This is to get stuff like Cavern of Souls and all that whatnot. Veil of Summer to uh, when you're going for the win, you get to stop every all your stuff from being countered. Rogue Intervention, that's pretty basic. That's a really good card. Every green deck should have. And Crawls and Grip, another really good thing almost every green deck should have. Alright, last up we got the enchantments. We are running nine enchantments. So we have City of Solitude. Players can only cast spells during their turn. That's also a really big help. Uh, stops your stuff from being countered. Defense of the Heart. This is an actual original one, not one from the Mystery Boosters too. This is awesome. It says during your upkeep, if an opponent controls three or more creatures, you get to sacrifice this and search your library for any two car creature cards and put them into play which is great. So for four mana, if this resolves, you get to put any two creatures into play. Asceticism, also another great thing that should be in every green deck. Stop your, stops your creatures from being uh, target spells or abilities your opponent's control. Survival of the Fittest, this is an awesome card. Two mana, you pay one mana, discard a card, and you can get your library, any creature card in your library, and put it to your hand. Like, that's just amazing. Colossification, this is from the new Ikoria set. This is also a great thing for Marwyn, because boom, now she generates 20 additional mana per turn. Lurking Predators, this is also a great card for any green deck. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, reveal the top card of your library. It's a creature card, put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, it goes to the bottom of your library, so there's almost no downside to it. Uh, instill Energy, which uh, basically, again, lets you tap and untap Marwyn. Awakening. Uh, this one, I'm probably going to end up taking out of here as well, because it, it's all creatures and lands, not just yours. So it kind of clashes with a couple of the other things I got going. And this one is great. Hardened Scales, one drop. If a creature is going to get a counter, you give it that many counters plus one instead. Oh, an easy one drop way to beef up the amount of counters you can put on Marwyn to uh, tap for all that mana. And these guys are just my elf tokens up here. Um, I think I ordered yeah, I think I ordered all these off eBay, except for that guy. They were just some cheap custom tokens. That one there looked really cool. So guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.